At the Kabul Orthopedic Organization, commonly called KU, there's hope for disabled soldiers and civilians where there used to be none. Inside these walls, the KU staff dedicate themselves to helping their fellow Afghans. When they feel that I have no leg or I cannot walk with or I, I, will, I will lose my job, I, I have lost my job, I cannot do anything more, then they are dependent to their family members or to the, to the society. They are, they are totally dependent and gradually a, a very bad psychological problem with the body. They build prosthetic limbs to help amputees adjust to their new life. But the work doesn't end there. The KU staff also provide physical therapy. Because physiotherapy is a new profession in Afghanistan. It's young. Uh, but we're trying to learn from others, from foreigners. And we can share our experience as well. Um, they're providing financial support and technical support as well. KU treats soldiers from the Afghan National Army as part of a contract with the Combined Security Transition Command like Afghanistan. I know that they've got, they've got a handle on what they do um, as far as providing these services in an austere environment like this. They are the best equipped, best trained, and, and they have all the inside knowledge on how to do that probably better than anybody else. The quality work KU achieves, considering the conditions they work in, is impressive. They have practically have dirt floors, uh, they, they have very limited resources, buildings that haven't been updated in many, many years, yet even despite that, they, they provide what is what we would describe as the most functional and useful um, prosthetics and services to the ANA. Helping these unfortunate victims of war is no easy task. But in the past five years, this small clinic's been making a difference and allowing amputees to become a whole person again. Petty Officer Brandon Shelander, Kabul, Afghanistan.